Saw triple zero two yesterday with a big move. 329 million shares traded. Beautiful setup on this one, guys, yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Coming down, smashing through all those levels of resistance back here that I would have been watching very closely, especially that triple zero five. Uh, triple zero five and eight seem to be uh, a support, or I'm sorry, um, a support, yes. In uh, zero zero one underneath it, you guys do have a gap at triple zero nine and ten. Keep that in mind. You guys are outside the upper Bollinger Band with the RSI currently at 83, getting kind of overbought right now. But what can you say for a stock coming off that triple zero two and hitting that zero zero one four? A beautiful setup in here, but it does have that gap as well. You guys know how I am with the gaps here, watching for that. Uh, one thing I would like to point out is if you take a look at this chart, this chart might look like it's weeks and days and tons of uh, time, but it's actually from 2014 um, to be exact, April. 10th of 2014 all the way to today but a few years here in this area of nothing and then big volume coming into this one right now 134 million that's putting your average of the last 20 days at 24 million again with the resistance now at 0014 uh 12 2 is going to be another one you guys plowed through uh really nicely here one two plowed through uh, and taking a look at the history as as well like i said look at these pops here they end up Coming back down right here. So it's got the history of the pops, which is good. This one looks like it's a really, really healthy one as well. 001, it's, it just could not get past that level since 2011. Unbelievable. So again, I'll go ahead and stop talking about how nice of a move this was and add this over to, uh, hand this over to Joe rather and see what he could add to it. <clears throat> All right, so this one right here has a skull and crossbones with pink no information. So... I mean, I went to their website. Their website's active. It's up, you know. Um, their their share structure is showing as of April 27th, they're authorized as 2 billion shares with their float as of April 27, 2017 being 9, 903,297,039 shares. And they float as of April 27th. All right, so, um, I mean, I'm not seeing any filings. Let's see what the latest was. So the last quarterly report was received on July 21st, 2010. All right, so their latest press release as well was on October 20th, 2016, and that was Petroli uh, Pilgrim Petroleum Completes Acquisition of control Controlling Interest, Oil, and Gas Assets. So Pilgrim Petroleum PLC, a private company and subsidiary, an independent oil and gas company has completed its acquisition of a 79% Controlling interest in the announced acquisition of Bacon, Eagle Ford, and Wood Ford shale assets for approximately $330 million net of customary closing adjustments. So, I mean, that right there, I mean, we haven't heard anything of it since. So, I mean, I'm going to show what's going on. Let's see. It says, uh, Rafael A. Pinedo, chairman of Pilgrim, said that the company would never have seen as many opportunities to put together so much acreage as demand has started to soar exponentially, as new drilling techniques to extract crude at a profit are available despite low oil prices, even Richardson, Petroleum uh, Pilgrim Petroleum President and CEO said the success would depend on whether the oil price recovery holds, as will continue to acquire properties to increase our company valuation. Also, Richardson announces the reorganization of subsidiaries and consolidation will will be announced by December 5th, 2016. This will include plans for fiscal year 2017. So I mean, I, I'm not finding anything since then, so I'm not really sure. I mean, I could, obviously this could all have something to do with that, you know, obviously kind of uh, take, take its way, I don't know. So uh, if you have any information on this company, feel free to share it with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors. So we have using the site daily by posting right over there on that PGPM board. All right, and that is what Joe's looking at over here, all this information that you can get for PGPM completely free at your fingertips. Currently right now, 0013, this is my notes. 0013, resistance at 14 and 002, support at 0. 
one zero zero one and triple zero eight and six gap at zero zero one and triple zero nine can't keep running with a break of zero zero one five if volume slows this could pull back fast in my opinion so remember that the volume is starting to slow down a little bit i would definitely watch this one uh on monday as well moving forward pg pm if you follow the sock make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and that like button we'd appreciate it get out there share this video with all other investors on different social networks stock message boards and stock forums if you'd like to participate in our next live show, we would love to have you at uh, investorshangout.com forward slash live.